Hi everybody, this is Tim from Boatshare Drop Brokers and I'm going to give you an extended tour around this 2018 Quicksilver Weekender 855 in virtual reality. So what does virtual reality mean? Well that means that you can look around where you like, you don't have to look where Tim's looking, all you need to do is swipe your screen or click and drag your screen up, down, left or right and you can look around where you like, when you like and we hope that this really amazing feature will allow you to feel what it's like to be on this lovely boat without actually being here. How cool is that? Some people are a little bit sensitive to the movement of the camera so if that might be you I will try to remember to let you know when I'm going to move the camera and uh, once the camera's back down safely I will let you know so you can return to the tour with me but let's hope that doesn't happen. So what do we think? Well we're in this lovely cockpit, 2018 boat so she, she feels and she looks contemporary and she feels and looks like she's not very old because she's not so uh, we'll see that as we go around the boat. Lots of attention has been paid to uh, being really really flexible in all sorts of uh, furniture configurations etc so we'll look at that as well but meantime let's just have a look around the boat and see how we get on. So let's, uh, I will vacate along the, uh, the swim platform and in I come through a really really nice and easy to get through companionway there and this forms part of the cockpit tent as you can see we have a, a complete tent over the whole of the cockpit so in the rain and the wind I'm lovely and warm out here and I can even have the door to the uh, to the interior open it's actually blowing about 20 knots out there at the moment possibly more and it is cold but in here feels absolutely lovely we've got nice big windows so that means that we can see out really really nice and easily also means other people can see in but it also means that the uh, the guy on the helm or the girl on the helm sorry or the male or the female on the helm whoever it is can see all the way around the boat while they're at sea even if this is up which is a really great feature the only uh, the only kind of obstruction to his view really is this sort of section here but that would form part of the structure of the boat so we'll forgive quicksilver for that so nice and easy to get through once you're in we just close with a nice simple action like that um, doesn't give you complete closure so if you've got a small dog or maybe small kids you might find them disappearing underneath but at least there's something to hang on to or grab as they go past first thing we notice on the outboard side as we come in we've got a cockpit shower just nestled in there uh, down here we've got a little cockpit locker not for storing things in really uh, but we've got the uh, the diesel fuel shut off we've got uh, the windless uh, isolator and the main isolator etc in there and it closes just so, just like everything does on this boat, it's all really, really nice. A couple of rod holders, port and starboard, and um, port and starboard also, we've got a hop up, uh, a lower hop up on the starboard side here, down out to the side deck, so we've got a few poppers and a zip to undo, and we can duck under and uh, disappear off down to the fore deck if we need to. Underneath here, we've got uh, the, the gas locker situated under there, so it's outside, it's away from the interior of the boat, which is great, and um, generally speaking, we've got a nice, wide cockpit, loads of headroom above us underneath the uh, the cockpit tent, that's a feature throughout the boat which is lovely. Um, but let's speak about where you are, you're sitting on a cockpit table, now if we want to we can take this away, stow it down below, leaves us unfettered access, if we want to we can drop it down, we have a cushion that's the same shape as this so we've got ourselves a nice private beach club, a lovely great big sunbed, if we strike all this down in the, on a nice sunny day, put the table down, cushion on, we've got ourselves a nice big uh, bed basically. The upholstery is very nice, very contemporary as you can see, um, we've got uh, padding all the way round and uh, if we want to then we can recline the rear of the seat further and also if we want to we can take the, the uh, saloon table away move the whole seat forwards which gives us access to the back of the engine underneath and uh, the, the stern gear etc etc which at the moment we can't get to because this is slid over it and bolted into place. Uh, just looking down uh, at the deck you can see we've got a, a very very nice deck here and uh, if I just lift the lid up you can see again all the, the covers on this boat I think all of them they're all there on gas struts which is lovely it just makes it nice and easy even the, uh, the even the anchor locker uh, cover is on struts as well we can see we've got the this is the cover for the or the the cushion for the saloon table here that's sitting on a box under which is the uh, the fuel tank and then just nestling under there where you can't see is a forward end of the engine a couple of pumps uh, some electrics and the batteries etc and access down to the bilge and the bilge pump so uh, very nice indeed if we don't want to open that one then we can take the cockpit table away and we can open this cover here which hinges up 
Um, and then, and again, as I mentioned, if we don't want to go down either of these two, then we can move the seat, seat forwards and go down from behind. So really, really nice thought for the engineers amongst us, which is me. So I'd, uh, I'd be thankful to the Quicksilver engineers for designing that in. Lovely. So, lovely great big cockpit, plenty of uh, room and uh, feeling like it's a place I'd like to be underway or at sea. Could it be for you? A couple of handles either side here as well, so we can uh, really hold on if we need to, if the helm's going berserk. But moving forwards, we can see we've got uh, really very little uh, in the way between us and the saloon. So, as at home, where we might have our bifolds between the, uh, the kitchen or the diner and the garden, we're bringing the outside in, the inside out, and all of that kind of uh, designery talk. But we really do have uh, a feeling of togetherness with the interior and this cockpit tent, which is absolutely lovely, or the cockpit itself. If we don't want that togetherness, then all we need to do, note I'm doing it with one finger, very nice and easy to slide doors, there we've got complete closure. So uh, if we want to be nice and warm and away from the wind and the rain inside, we can do, no problem. Or if we need a bit of privacy from the outside in or the inside out, we've got that as well. And then when we, want, when we want to join back in the party again, there we go, one finger again. They all open and we're all friends and party with everybody again. How nice is that? Just above us, we've got uh, the um, boat, hooks, boat hook stowage, nice and convenient. We've got uh, port and starboard fusion speakers in here and cockpit lights as well. So um, very, very well thought out and a nice place to be, I think. Right then, let's pick the camera up for the first time and I will try and find somewhere with a little bit of shade. I'm going to place you on the cockpit seat there, or the helm seat, sorry. Hope you don't fall over, I'm taking a bit of a risk. I'll just step back out of the interior so you can have a look around. But um, we'll go around from starboard to port first. So let's have a look at this, uh, this galley unit first. So I think this is a, probably a modular unit. As you can see, very nice wood as it is throughout the boat, feeling very contemporary. Bit of stowage behind here. And if you lift the lid up, hopefully it won't take the camera with it, which it hasn't, it's lovely. Then we've got the uh, the cooking unit here. Now, you'll notice it's really, the, 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 position, the position of it's really well thought out. Plates out to the cockpit, plates to the saloon table, it's just an arm stretch away. And uh, within the galley unit, we've got two burners here, bit of protection here on the wood, which is fantastic. And uh, if we lift the, the sink tap up here, there we go. Take away this chopping board, there you go, we've got somewhere to do our washing up. And uh, how lovely is it that we've got uh, somewhere to wash up where we've got a fantastic view out through this lovely great big window. And if I just drop the, uh, the, the top down again, under struts, as is everything else on this boat, we can see just uh, how lovely and big these windows all are. We've got uh, lots of uh, vision, we can see great views because we're higher up in the marina, we're kind of lording it up above everybody else. Great for watch keeping as well, and I think that's possibly the biggest one screen, uh, one piece screen I've seen on a boat yet, to be honest, but uh, there we go. But as you can see, loads of light pouring in. We do have curtains for all of the windows, I believe. Uh, they are put away. Um, so uh, if you want a bit, bit of privacy, then we've got that too. Very nice. So what else have we got underneath the galley? Well, if you look in here, you probably won't be able to see it, but we've got a little bit more stowage in two stowages underneath. We've got a nice fridge fitted in there. Again, very easy to get drinks to the saloon table. Very easy to get drinks to the cockpit. Absolutely fabulous. And uh, you won't be able to see it, but we do have a little microwave underneath here, nestled away and another slightly bigger, deeper drawer underneath there for all your, uh, probably for your pots and pans to be honest. All slides nicely, feels very good. And uh, if I move forwards, well, we're coming, well, we've come to the helm uh, situation or the helm uh, place. So uh, if you were thinking about taking this boat away, then you'd be sitting here. You'd probably have a can of Coke or maybe a G&T, actually not a G&T while we're driving, a soft drink while we're driving in the cup holder here. We've got somewhere to charge uh, our iPhones, etc. there, although we need an adapter, but a 12 volt DC uh, socket nevertheless. Very nice looking seat, very contemporary, very modern looking. And uh, if we need to, we can lift this bolster here, which means that we can just rest our backside or our back against this whilst we're steering and uh, down below here just to make it as, as comfortable while you adjust the bolster you can you, you have a choice of two footrests here and also you can't see it from where you are but there is actually a, another false 
floor that folds down which means you can stand here and be three or four inches higher which is great especially if you're uh, a little more vertically challenged. Underneath the, um, the helm seat again we've got uh, three nice seats that just uh, roll out very nicely and clip away that's for all your bits and pieces that uh, you would generally have around the saloon very good. Carrying on around the, 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 the helm area, I'll probably uh, go on a lot about the helm area because it is nice. You're at a, a, you're at a nice height above lots of other boats. You've got lots of vision and you've also got great comms with everybody sitting here and everybody sitting at the or in the cockpit. If you want great comms with everybody who's tying your boat up then it's very easy to just open the side hatch there. We've got a nice big opening window here so we can get cross boat ventilation we can get out there and assist with the ropes if we want because right out here we've got a midships cleat which could be made great use of if you're short-handed but also you can lean out and you can not shout but gently encourage the people who are helping you to, to, uh, to tie your lovely boat up. There we go, so I'll just close the door on that. Well, some nice fresh air in here so really really nice and again because it's a, a, a tall door it uh, and it's all glass it does look like uh, it gives you the feeling of lots of light coming in on top of all the windows which is lovely um, looking forwards starting at the top you can see we've got uh, a VHF well in uh, range of the, the helm as well nice Simrad unit here turned on so we've got a, a nice chart plotter there showing us where we are Bright Marina at the moment Switch gear for all of your usual bits and pieces. We've got a, a remotely controlled searchlight. We've got a, the remote controlled uh, windlass in here as well. We do have deck buttons outside, so you can do it from in here or out there. We've got the bow thruster controls here. And uh, coming further down, we can see we've got two gauges here, uh, multifunction gauges. So while we think we might not have lots of gauges, I actually prefer this setup because instead of having hundreds of gauges everywhere that could all easily go wrong, we've got two with lots of different displays showing battery voltages, uh, fuel amounts, uh, engine hours, etc. So here we've, we've got the engine tachometer and we've also got boat speed there. That's all we need at the moment. Lovely, lovely uh, helm here as well, really nicely positioned. And behind that, we've got the uh, trim tab controls. Outboard of that, we've got the, the really nice throttle piece, which is, allows us to uh, raise and lower the leg. We can start and stop the engine from there and also run it out of gear, all that kind of things. This boat is fitted with active trim too, and one or two other really nice little extras, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. But all in all, you pretty much have, well, you do have everything you need to control the boat in safety and comprehensively, comprehensively from this area, I think. Very nice indeed. Right then. Let's look over, before I take you, I was about to move you, let's look at the port side of this compartment. So, again, I mentioned the, the, the windows. I won't talk any more about windows apart from when we go down below. Lovely, great big sliding open window there. So great for cross-deck ventilation inside. Wind, curtains again, which uh, we have all the way around this boat. And a lovely, great big hatch here, which slides back to allow uh, more ventilation, light and wind through our hair a little bit. Um, but the interesting arrangement here is uh, we have got uh, on the port side we've got two forward facing seats and two aft or maybe one and a half, two are to push and we've got a nice saloon table here as well. We can configure this so this goes down or we, we may have an infill part over there but this does make into a nice double bed if we need it, thumbs up to that. Also if you want to we can close the saloon table like that. And what we can do is we can reconfigure this seating area by sliding it aft and moving the, uh, the seat back. And that will give us two forward facing and another two forward facing seats there as well, which some people may prefer. Very nice. Stories beneath storage beneath as well so real nice flexibility and you know when you're sitting here you do feel a bit special because you're you're higher than a lot of boats you've got lovely big windows with curtains if you want nice table you can really sit here and feel like you're king of the uh, king of the patch in the marina uh, it's got a great feel good factor and again really nice clean lovely soft furniture or furnishings or upholstery there too very nice right then what I'll do, I will pick the camera up this time and I'll take you down the steps to the forward lobby. Now it's a little bit easier to, if you're going to the head, to open the door before you get down there. So let's just open it up and fold it back and uh, I'll place you in the head's compartment there. 
Now this is where things like head height get important. Not a boat, an issue on this boat really. If I just step in, I'm five foot nine. Well, I was about six and a half feet there, I think. So most people, in fact, almost everyone in the world will be absolutely fine in here. Um, going around the boat, I did mention earlier, again, we've got nice radius curves all over the place and uh, everything's a uh, bare gel coat so it looks shiny, it looks modern and contemporary but also means it's easier to clean which means you're more likely to clean it which means your boat stays a nicer, healthier, sweeter smelling world for you, from which you can uh, uh, spring forth with your travels. Now we have mirrored um, covers here on the outboard side which gives us that feeling of illusion and a mirror obviously. Um, these ones here slide so we've got a fairly shallow sliding cupboard there but uh, ample for toothbrushes, toothpaste deodorant, sh shampoo, all that kind of stuff. And uh, on the after end of the compartment here we've got a seat, so if you want to sit down on a blute or sit down and wash or whatever it is you like doing you can do. If you want to use the loo then you just lift that up and place it back and we've got the electric loo nestled below. No problem at all. Controls on the after bulkhead here and then outboard here you can see we've got a, a nice, well, two, a pair of nice windows. One has an opener to allow the passage of air and anything else in and out which is lovely and uh, the uh, the camera itself is sitting on a little bit of unit which we have inset into it a nice sink unit and if you want to shower then all we do is we pull this out and we clip it up there and that's our shower in place and uh, everything disappears magically through the deck and away which is absolutely lovely a uh, little cupboard under here for bits and pieces too. Actually a bit of decent space in there for your uh, toilet rolls etc. And then in general, nice little head compartment uh, does what it should do on the tin. Or does what it should say it does on the tin. Right then, let's pick you up again. And I will just uh, step up on this step, out of the way, there we go. And take you through to the forward cabin, the main cabin. VIP cabin, master cabin, whatever you'd like to call it on this boat. It does feel lovely, I have to say. I'm standing here and I can see the the, uh, the ripples of waves out, and the fenders obviously, uh, through the windows. We have light coming in through those side windows. We have light coming in through the hatch there. Light coming in through this non-opening hatch up here. So, and uh, coupled with the light gel coat uh, of the moulding and contrasting with the really lovely modern contemporary woodwork feels very nice down here. This boat particularly feels very nice and clean, smells sweet as well and uh, feels rather special I think. But yes you'll notice we have openers in these two windows and we also have the opening hatch there so light and air in, condensation moisture out etc. If we need to get out in a hurry through that hatch we can onto the forward deck. The beds are, not, are, are almost, uh, it is an island bed slightly curving around the, the, the base end and you can see we have a little lobby here we've got a nice sliding door here which is great uh, keeps the uh, uh, keeps down the space that we need to open the door and once we're in we've got uh, access to the bed port or starboard a couple of steps up and in we flop at the end of a hard day at sea and then we go to sleep or read or in this case we might watch tv we might listen to the uh, the stereo etc and uh, if we need somewhere to put our bits and pieces here we've got a nice fiddle shelf port and starboard too and this nice fabric here matches with the headboard fabric down there we have a mirror down there as well and then if you need somewhere to hang your clothes then we just open the hanging locker here and there we go hey presto room there for your hanging bits of pieces and a couple of shelves too really rather nice and uh, feels like a special place to be I think down here we've got uh, two access to access to the bilge as well which is lovely bilge on this boat is really really lovely and dry and clean which is fantastic I'm an engineer that's what I like so uh, let's have a, a little look in the uh, in the guest cabin or the aft cabin shall we so I'll pick you up here we go and we'll take you aft and then in a port direction and I'm going to sit you on the uh, headboard there so as you can see as I come in a little bit of a shuffling no problem headroom is absolutely fine same headroom as the head compartment we do have a, a non-opening uh, port light or hatch above us here which is letting light flood in which is fantastic and uh, here we've got a little corner cupboard unit space in there for your weekend bits and pieces small fiddle shelf on top and then once we're in there we go we can uh, close the door bit of privacy and I've got a little lobby here from where I can get changed if I want but I will open it up just to uh, latch it back out of the way there we go and uh, let's talk about this cabin well it's the after cabin it's a double as you can see we're a thwart chips we're not quite the full width of the boat 
uh, with probably most of it but not all of it. Right the way down that end you can see the dark coloured bulkhead that has two covers that pull forwards behind there we've got the calorifier, we've got the battery charger, um, a couple of other bits and pieces but mainly given over to electrics which is good because this is a nice dry compartment. Um, access to them is quite easy but obviously you're on your chest so uh, the engineers can get to them easily rather than, cr rather than crawling around engines etc but of course you have to go over to the bed. Not too much of an issue but uh, as long as you know where things are and you can get to them that's fine. The bed is uh, nice and wide, nice and long. Um, I think anybody would struggle to find this bed small. Obviously uh, the, the elephant in the room is that we've got uh, limited headroom here, we've got the saloon seating above us here and we've got limited headroom or body room under here. This is the saloon walkway or companion way through. Now if you're in this, uh, if you're in this bed I don't think uh, most people will be okay to sit back with their heads against, uh, sorry their backs or shoulders against the headboard here for, uh, for reading. The taller people may struggle a little bit but um, down there that's where your toes and feet and knees and shins are going to be so you don't really need much uh, headroom down there. Uh, in here then you're the, the occupant of the after end of this bed is going to go in first or he's going to be crawling over the occupant who's going to be lying here. But that's boating life, a lot of compromises but generally speaking you've got uh, a, a nice forward cabin, a nice aft cabin so I think four adults or a family could enjoy this boat really nicely without really struggling at all. Um, obviously here I'm perched just on the edge of this nice little seat here so you've got somewhere to sit, tie your shoelaces up, pull your wellies on that kind of thing. There's a bit of stowage beneath there as well. And then outboard here we've got a nice a nice fiddled shelf or fiddled with a headboard. I do like this, uh, this uh, upholstery that they use, it is very very nice. And we've got a nice big window here which coupled with the one up there, lots of light in here, doesn't feel claustrophobic partly as well because we've got nice white gel coat here everywhere nice modern fabrics and, uh, and obviously the window and the opener very very lovely indeed we do have a curtain here too so uh, um, not too much of a problem but I just noticed as well we've got an air vent there as well so uh, could be nice and warm in here too very good right then let's pick you up for the final time and uh, take you for a walk so to the left is the uh, the forward cabin straight in front of us is the head compartment there and to the right we've got uh, very nice and easy steps to get up do notice we've got really lovely looking floor here I think this looks like it may be really tough and hard to actually make a mark in which is uh, always good on a boat uh, just while we're there so up we go back into the uh, saloon we'll go through the saloon and finish off by placing you back in the cockpit where we started. So this has been Tim from Boat Shed Drop Road, which is taking you for a tour around the cockpit and interior of this 2018 Quicksilver 855 Weekender. Thanks for joining us, it's always lovely to have you along and do look at our channel for lots of reviews, loads of other boats. Take care, see you soon.